Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Red and Black TV. I'm here in front of the Banquet Stadium, home of the Wanderers. Wanderers 2, Adelaide United 3. I'm here with Nick Nova, the one and only Nick fucking Nova. There you go. Welcome <laughs> to the show, brother. Thank you very much. Good cross-platforming happening right now. It, it is good. It's good, huh? It's good. ATB and RBTV locking together. Yeah, let's support each other. Let's get the views across, bro. I'll help this black. Help everyone out, bro. Help me. Help him. Help fucking everyone. Help Retro TV too or football. Let's do this, bro. All right, give me your thoughts on the game and let's let let's get. I'll go in the first half, bro. I don't know. I, I didn't get. I didn't get a chance to see the fucking first goal. I was buying a drink. Yeah, you you saw it probably more than me. Tell me. I saw it right in front. Basically, they get a free kick edge of the box. Cross comes in. Get somewhat cleared away again, half-heartedly clean, uh, cleared away, and then you just see uh, Goodwin just has a clean hit, and Ziggy sort of stands off of it. It mm. maybe I don't know, Margush could have seen it a little bit better, but it looks like he went straight past him. It sort of looked like an easy save face on, but in retrospect, you look at it, it looks like he might have been blindsided. That's one nil. Yeah. Um, and then we start hitting the counter attacks again, or rather, we should start, well, I should say we're countering them, we're getting forward, we're getting some chances. Uh, there's there's some chances that are that are created more crosses into the box uh, again. Do you know how many crosses we swung in in this game? Plenty of corners. There was, I think, about 30 minutes in, it's about 10 corners for us and nil for them. 19 corners in total. How many corners did Adelaide get? None, none, no corners for Adelaide. We had 43 crosses to their nine. We, we could have bagged the fucking few um, corners away first half. Um, Ziggy, yeah. you got a clean one. Keeper, keeper saved it. Delianov saves it. In recent weeks, you would have seen Delianov play. Maybe hasn't been the most assuring. He had a good start to the season. Lately, he's had a few shaky moments. But that, I mean, if Margush does that, or if Lopar does that last season, we're all saying like, well, world-class save, you know what I mean? So mm. fair play to the kid. He, he pulled off a fantastic save, but arguably that should have been 1-1. And then a whole game's changed within the first 10 minutes of the game. As the game went on, we see, you know, they get into the box again late in the, in the first half, and Mork gets found with space all around him. McGowan just stays off of him and he's given him the freedom of Bankware Stadium. I think they could have pressed him a little bit more. How he had that much time to operate within the box, I have no idea what the defence was doing, but that's 2-0. He, he pretty much fucking stood there and had a look around. Where the fuck was he going to put it? Far, near, middle, yeah. and for the near post. Could have had a coffee, could have said, give me a massage, and then he picked his spot. Uh, again, just lazy defending from our parts, staying off the defence, not push, uh, not pressing him. That's probably how we considered the first goal as well, maybe not getting out there. But, you know, we're going to the sheds at uh, halftime 2-0, and then the boys come out firing in the second half. Yeah, it made the subs. After, after making the subs, three subs on, Kamal, Duke, and who was it again, the third one? Well. Aquilina came on as well. There you go to put the to put the pressure on the right. It was the left hand side? Pull one back, come out. Then we fucking obviously you're pull, you're pushing up. Get, get, trying to get the second one. Trying to get the equalizer. Got the fucking third goal, man. That well, that's the danger when you're playing chasing the game. The other team can sit back and they they know you're exposed. And we play three centre backs when we're playing wing backs. When we're attacking, we're three centre backs. When we're defending, we're five. We're attacking. So, of course, you're going to be outnumbered. You have three, three, even two are going to be drawn to one, one on one still. That's more than enough chance to, to snag the, yourselves a goal. And they got a third goal. Everyone was hoping that it might have been offside. It was clearly onside. And Mohamed Toure scores a nice finish again. Adelaide fans in the corner celebrating like they won the World Cup or whatever. Fair play to them. We'd probably be doing the same thing. But in reality, we had a couple of chances as well. Duke had uh, essentially a, uh, he could have had a tap in. He could have had a one-on-one -on -one with Delianov and a second shot that Delianov saved and hit the post, then went out for a corner. And that all happened within, what, 10 minutes? I'll let him off on the tapping because the Adelaide defender yep. just got a fucking nick yep. to it. But apart from that, I reckon he would have put it away, had himself two goals. But thankfully, he's off the mark. He's got his first goal back in the red and black. And where do we go? We move on to now, what is it? Melbourne City, Tuesday night. Hopefully... Much better result, much better performance. Again, we're at home. Boys, please, please, for the sake of all of us, bro. For the sake of no problem, put the, drums, put the, put the drums, for the drums in there. The their hands go out, man. The their, their, their hands die. Our voices die. It's, <laughs> with the voices go out, too. I, I waste money throwing those fucking drinks away, man, every time you score a goal. All right? I don't mind. If as long as you keep scoring goals, but let's fucking do that. All right. We'll see you Tuesday night. Banquet Stadium, we're out. Remember, like, subscribe, and free the red and black.